the threes. 74 degrees in New Iberia right now. You got mostly clear skies out there. Calm conditions right now. Now the showers are going to be arriving a little later on in the day and I would expect shower activity to start popping up right around the early afternoon, maybe even late morning. We got a lot of moisture out there. Dew point sitting at about 72 degrees so far this morning. And because of that, uh, we are expecting plenty in the way of that rainfall today. Already starting to see some showers going offshore. Those are working their way northward. So again, I would imagine mid to late morning immediately along the coastline. And then those showers spread out the further northwards they go. It's 73 in Kaplan at 72 in Abbeville right now. 74 between New Iberia, Franklin and Morgan City. 77 out over towards Sippermore Point. Temperature wise today, I think we may be making up to the mid 80s. We'll see the clouds settle in early that will uh, hinder that the warm up a bit but with all the moisture in place it is going to feel much much warmer than that 83 degrees between you Iberia Franklin in getting down towards Morgan City by lunchtime you'll see a lot of those showers make their way across the area should ease up in the evening though for the evening commute you shouldn't have too many problems temperatures will sit in the low 80s really really muggy outside in a heavy heavy atmosphere that we're going to have to deal with Winds out of the south at about 5 to 10 knots offshore today. Seas right around 1 to 2 feet. It'll be smooth on those lakes and bays. Your river stages for this Monday. A lot of those numbers going down over the weekend at uh, Butler, Rose, and Morgan City. Otherwise holding steady on the Mermintov, Vermilion, and out at Toledo Bend. And right now in St. Landry Parish, a teenager is dead. Her boyfriend injured after a hit and run Saturday night in Opelousas. Officers tell us that Brandon Guillory drove into the couple and then took off. According to investigators, Guillory was sober at the time of the crash. Now he's facing a charge of felony hit and run. Now while police have not released the identities of the victims, a relative tells us that 17 year old Diamonisha Guillory died at the scene and she was pregnant. The crash remains under investigation. Well, this morning in St. Mar uh, Mary Parish, a Franklin man is facing charges for a fire at the Baldwin Police Station earlier this year. Ray Robertson is accused of lighting things on fire while in a cell back in February. Robinson was treated for burns across 40% of his body. A police officer also suffered minor injuries. And tonight in Lafayette, Senator John Kennedy is expected to appear at a fundraiser at Cafe Vermilionville. Now, during that time, members of Indivisible Acadiana will be outside of the restaurant protesting Kennedy and his support for Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination. Following Kavanaugh's hearings, Kennedy expressed his support, saying that the nominee will issue opinions based on what the law says and not what it should be. The protests are set to start around 6 o'clock. Well, happening today in St. Martin Parish, landowners that live along the Bayou Bridge Pipeline route will be voicing their concerns about pipeline construction. The group recently filed an injunction against the pipeline company for illegally constructing on their private property. Now, those documents state that the Bayou Bridge began construction in the area without consent from landowners. State law requires consent of all owners before entering a property. Now, the hearing is set for 9 a.m. at the parish courthouse in St. Martinville. In traffic talk today in Iberia Parish, Cooley Road will shut down between Weeks Island Road and Labiche Road. Now the closure will run from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. Crews will be replacing a drainage pipe under that road. And right now the village of Morse and the city of St. Martinville are under a boil water advisory. Crews in Morse are repairing the water tower while a main water line is being fixed in St. Martinville. Now you're reminded to boil your water for a full minute until the advisory is lifted. And a few events around Acadiana are being planned in remembrance of the lives lost during the 9-11 terrorist attack. Now in Lafayette, the fire department will be holding a memorial in Park San Souci that gets started at 830 in the morning at 6 Tuesday evening. There will be a Patriot Day celebration in New Iberia. It's being held at the Steamboat Pavilion at Bolany Plaza and in Eunice. A ceremony will be held at the Circle Park at 630. Well, time is running out to register for this year's Congressional App Challenge. The competition encourages students to showcase their coding skills by creating an app for a mobile tablet or computer. The, de the deadline to sign up is today. Winning apps will be showcased on the CAC website and in the U.S. Capitol. Today is, uh, today is also the deadline to submit your recommendations for fifth graders to compete in the Lafayette Education Foundation's You Got School Game Show. Now, Lafayette famous contestants will be competing against each other in a game of trivia with the help of a few fifth graders. The event takes place September 27th at Vermilionville.
Well, happening tonight in Opelousas, more than 30 chefs are competing in the 20th annual Soiree Royale Culinary Competition. The fundraiser is to help support the St. Landry Chamber of Commerce's Education Scholarship. Tickets are available at the website that you see there on your screen, and it starts at 5.30 at Evangeline Downs. Well, music legend uh, Elton John kicked off his final world concert tour, a concert tour Saturday in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour consists of more than 300 shows across five continents. Now it's scheduled to last until 2021, and the 71-year-old says that once the final concert takes place, he's retiring from life on the road and he's focusing on himself and on his family. The tour will make a stop in New Orleans on December 6th. Tickets are still available on Ticketmaster.com. Right now, prices range from... Oh, I was going to go, but maybe not. $327 to $1,600. Yeah, man, I can't believe that's it for Elton John. I know. He's I, a staple. He isn't. I would really love to go see him. That's yeah, probably not money. for $320. So. No, I'll catch it on like TV somewhere. Yeah. If someone wants YouTube. to give me a ticket, yeah. I will enjoy the show a lot. Write a review on it. Yeah. You know, all good things. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, how did you spend your Sunday? If watching football was your answer, then uh, you missed something pretty cool. It was a dog surfathon held in California yesterday. More than 70 dogs got to show off their skills on the waves. The event is in its 13th year. Highlighting some of man's best friends, best tricks. 100% of proceeds from the surfathon benefit the Helen Woodward Animal Center to help orphan pets. Like, that is awesome. That's pretty sweet. Could Loki event. do that? No. He's terrified of water. I took him. Oh, look at the pug. Oh, it's like a little sausage. <laughs> the little life jacket. How do you train your dog to do that? I don't know. So Just anyway, Loki's terrified of water. Yeah, I took yeah. him to the park. Uh, I, I took him to the big splash pad fountain that's downtown. Uh -huh. You would have thought that he had come across the world's biggest monster. He tried to hide behind one of the benches. He's a 90 pound dog and he was cowering behind the benches. 